Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm an iconographer and a painter. Today I want to make a video on egg tempera, this amazing uh, medium of uh, painting. And I want to share with you all my knowledge about how to prepare egg tempera and uh, how to paint with uh, it. So the history of egg tempera, of course, starts early on. With We have examples from uh, even ancient uh, Egypt of uh, works painted with uh, egg tempera. Later on, the Christian painters, uh, the iconographers, uh, used egg tempera to paint their icons with, and uh, they passed this knowledge to the Western uh, painters, uh, the medieval uh, and early Renaissance painters, who used egg tempera to paint uh, their artworks. We have painters like uh, Giotto or uh, Michelangelo, of course, who used uh, egg tempera, and uh, recently, scientists found that uh, even Da Vinci used uh, egg yolk uh, in his masterpieces, even in uh, Mona Lisa, to, to make his uh, pigments more uh, stable, durable and uh, beautiful. So, this is uh, truly an uh, amazing uh, and tested medium uh, within time. Uh, if there is no humidity, egg tempera paintings can last uh, for centuries, as we know. And uh, that's why many painters uh, choose, even today, this medium to paint. Um, we have modern painters like uh, Andrew Wyeth, of course, uh, William Blake, Giorgio de Chirico, um, from the 20th century, uh, the Pre-Raphaelites uh, earlier on, uh, who truly appreciated the principles and the results, the beautiful results that uh, egg tempera can give, and uh, they used this uh, medium for their uh, works. So, how to prepare uh, egg tempera? Uh, usually, uh, I take uh, a couple of uh, egg yolks. I, I separate the egg white uh, from the egg uh, yolk, and I, I place these uh, egg yolks in a glass. And in that same glass, I will add uh, the same volume uh, in uh, of egg yolk in water. I will. Uh, I will measure, let's say, how much egg yolk uh, is in the glass, and then I will add uh, the same amount of uh, uh, volume in water, along with some uh, drops of uh, vinegar to prevent uh, bacteria from developing uh, early on. With this uh, solution, I will uh, mix uh, my dry pigments and uh, I will uh, paint uh, with. This is called uh, egg tempera. This way of mixing uh, dry pigments with a solution of egg tempera, water and uh, vinegar. And uh, it gives us these truly amazing results. Now, egg tempera, I have to say, uh, it's uh, much different, of course, uh, to oil painting. Uh, first, because uh, it uh, dries very quickly, much quicker uh, than... Uh, it dries uh, instantaneously, let's say, and um, than oil uh, medium. And uh, also because, uh, because of this uh, quick uh, drying of the medium, the painting has to be done in several uh, layers. When we paint uh, in oil, we move the, the, the painting uh, uh, here and there. We, uh, and this is how we build volume, the, the darks uh, and the lights. Um, we have examples uh, when painting, for example, La Prima, when in just one layer we can finish a painting when we are painting in oil. Instead, when we paint in egg tempera, we have to finish uh, the, uh, the painting in several layers um, of uh, painting. Those of you who are uh, iconographers uh, really um, and have used uh, egg, egg tempera uh, know exactly what I'm talking about uh, here. But uh, egg tempera has a precision and uh, a beauty, a silkness that uh, really you can't find in any other medium and that's why many of the painters uh, really like to, to use this medium. 
Now, the surface you can paint on is uh, uh, has to be prepared with uh, a rabbit skin glue gesso, uh, an organic uh, glue uh, gesso, not an acrylic one. So, um, those who are uh, acrylics are not suitable to, to paint on. Also, when using a tempera, it's best to work uh, on a very stable surface, like a good board or uh, a good panel. Uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, um, wall, a mural. I, w I wouldn't suggest, though, to paint on a wall. We have examples of a tempera on walls that didn't go very well. But uh, a good panel, I would say, prepared with rabbit skin glue gesso is uh, really the best. The pigments that uh, we use are uh, dry powder pigments. They come in the same names uh, as the pigments in tubes. Uh, you can find uh, cadmium uh, reds and uh, yellows, uh, titanium white, uh, uh, ivory black, uh, cobalt uh, blue, etc. Any kind of color um, in uh, powder form suitable for uh, water soluble uh, um, uh, medium like Ectempera is uh, fantastic. So um, this is uh, the, the main principle of uh, egg tempera, using this uh, solution that I described before of egg yolk, water and a little vinegar, uh, mixed with uh, the dry pigments. The brushes that uh, we use are... Uh, um, it, they can be synthetic brushes or uh, Kolinsky natural bristle brushes. Uh, they have to be um, soft uh, enough, not as soft uh, as uh, watercolor uh, brushes, but uh, definitely not as uh, hard as uh, oil uh, brushes. As I said, here, when painting with a tempera, we don't move the color around, we don't need harsh uh, hard uh, uh, br brushes to move the color around we just apply the color in layers and that's why the brush doesn't need to be uh, either neither very soft neither very hard the the painting can be painted in several layers. I wouldn't suggest uh, to paint uh, in uh, too many layers, like uh, don't go beyond 15, say, layers of uh, painting. Otherwise, uh, this will flake away. Uh, there will be some problems. But I think uh, 10 layers of painting, one on top of the other, would be more than sufficient to paint your, uh, uh, your work. And um, another thing that you should take, uh, you should uh, uh, be um, very attentive is uh, that there shouldn't be much uh, humidity uh, in, at the place where you will place the final uh, painting. Usually we varnish the paintings uh, after some months after they have been completed. If uh, there is no time for that, you can varnish the egg tempera painting uh, as soon as it's uh, finished. Uh, it's best to varnish it some uh, months or weeks uh, after its completion. And um, make sure that uh, there is no humidity, otherwise... Uh, um, it will soon uh, um, be destroyed. The varnish that I use to uh, to varnish a painting is uh, a varnish uh, suitable for acrylics, I would say, in uh, spray form. I don't pay much attention to varnishing. It's uh, something that uh, um, many people overestimate and pay too much attention, in my opinion. Uh, so I use uh, an acrylic varni varnish in uh, a spray form to varnish my um, paintings. The solution of uh, egg yolk and uh, uh, vinegar lasts uh, approximately uh, one week, I would say, maybe 10 days. And I've noticed that uh, it's, it really becomes best after three or four days uh, have uh, passed. So, 
I think this was uh, pretty much uh, the video on uh, Ectempera. I hope uh, I this was useful for you and uh, I have uh, uh, given all information I know about uh, Ectempera. I hope this video will inspire you to try this medium and uh, uh, see what you can paint with uh, it. I would say if you haven't yet tried, give it a try, play around with uh, this and uh, see by yourselves uh, if this uh, suits you and uh, can give uh, some amazing uh, um, paintings from your uh, studio. So thank you so much for being here. Be healthy, be creative and uh, I will see you soon with uh, another video. Bye.